<sighs> yeah, I know. It's been a while. I'm sorry, but hey, I'm back. What's up everyone, Derek Kozanski here, your obstacle activist. And on today's episode, I'm just gonna be going over my 2019 season and my plans going forward. So everyone obviously knows me as an obstacle guy, not really that great at running, but this year I have actually been running my butt off this off season. If you haven't been following me on social media, one, you probably should, but two, um, I've been working a lot on my running actually. I haven't been doing any obstacle training for the past couple months. I've strictly been working on my running and trying to up my speed and endurance. Basically, I'm just gonna try and kick ass this year at all short course races. So anything seven miles and under, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm talking Spartan Stadiums, Savage Race, and Savage Blitz. Those are the three primary, with a couple of things in between. Just a future reference, OCR buddy. This isn't an ad or anything. Um, it's a product I actually fully believe in. Well, not really an ad, it's an application. It's called OCR Buddy. I essentially set up my entire 2019 schedule in less than 10 minutes. Super easy, it's just an application, basically strictly for optical course racers to go in, see every and any race that's on a given day, no matter what part of the country or world it's in, and you can basically set it up and set your whole calendar that way, and it stays in a little app on your phone. So if you're like me, and you used to do all these really long Excel spreadsheets or Word documents to kind of set your whole calendar up, and you're going from website to website, go ahead and nix that. Go ahead and download the app. Again, this isn't an ad, it's just something I actually really enjoy using. It's really easy, really intuitive. Um, it's only a couple bucks. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below if you wanna go ahead and, and uh, set that up. It's on iOS or Android, so be good to go. So we'll get on the list here and I'll tell you what races that I'm gonna be doing in 2019 for sure. My race season actually does start in April for OCR. Um, first race is gonna be Fit Challenge, doing the elite wave of that one. Um, I know that's like the race to do for multi-lap endurance, but again, that's not my focus this year. Did that crap last year. This year, it's all about speed. Um, after that, oh wow, I actually have a really packed April. So after that, I have um, the stadium at City Field. Following weekend, I have Jersey City Challenge. And the last weekend in April, I will be at the Jersey Ultra and Beast weekend, but I don't know if I'm gonna race it again. Speed is my focus, short course. I don't really wanna do any Beast this year, but it's really hard not to do one when it's so close to me. So I'll probably be there. I don't know if I'm gonna race it. If I do, it's gonna be a fun lap. I'm just gonna use it for training. I'm not gonna go hard. Any supers, beast, ultras, anything like that. Just not doing it. So I'll be there. If you see me, say hey, but probably not gonna do it. Um, then I get into May. Um, I'll be doing the Savage Race in Maryland, both the regular and the Blitz. I'm gonna be going really hard at those. Those are definitely A races for me. I have the following weekend. Now this is a maybe the stadium race in DC. That's pretty much my May, not really too busy of a May. Coming into June, I have Goliathon. It's one of my favorite events of all time and I didn't get to go to a single one last year. So I'm not missing it this year, definitely gonna go. Uh, crew, gonna be taking back the number one spot again this year. For the rest of June, I have a lot of ones that I'm kind of like up in the air. So it sucks, but the Dallas Stadium race is the same weekend as Savage Pennsylvania. And as much as I love Savage, I mean, I freaking love Savage, you guys know that. My goal this year is to be within the top 15 or 20 stadium series points. And if they make it so you have to go to every single one that's on their list, unfortunately Dallas is on their list. So as of right now, I'm actually registered for Dallas Stadium, but we'll see when they when Spartan releases their full rules on if I'm actually gonna go to that. But it'll definitely either be PA Savage or Dallas Stadium, depends kind of what on Spartan does there with their rules. And then coming into July, um, I have never ever missed Palmerton. Palmerton was my first ever OCR for those of you who don't know. I never miss it, but this year I'm I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> I'm gonna go and do Savage Boston. Um, again, I know it's a lot further, but short courses are kind of like my focus. I know that Palmerton's a sprint, but it's also a mountain sprint. So even though I haven't missed, ooh, dropped my phone there. So even though I haven't missed Palmerton, you know, ever in my entire OCR career over the last couple years, probably gonna miss it this year. I, I just really wanna do Savage Boston. Unfortunately, a lot of the other Savages are the same weekends as stadium races, and stadiums are like my primary focus this year along with Savage. So I don't wanna miss the stadiums. I don't wanna miss Savage, so I'm compromising and missing some of the other races that I normally wanna miss, Palmerton being one of them. So I'm gonna be going and doing Boston Savage. That's actually pretty much all I have in July. I may do 
Rugged Maniac jersey. I may do Bone Frog in DC. Those may be rest weekends. We'll play it by ear. And then coming into August, I'm already registered for Rugged Maniac in PA. It's like 45 minutes from my house, why not? Super great festival. And then also in August, there's actually another one of my A races, or actually a couple A races, they're all on the same weekend. Uh, Noram, um, if you guys watched my video earlier, I'll link it at the end if you haven't, but Noram last year was one of my favorite race venues and race weekends, so definitely not gonna miss that one. Already registered for all the races, already have my hotel booked and everything, so. Definitely recommend going to that one if you're not already registered. I will definitely be there. It looks like that's about it for August right now. Going into September, um, I have a lot of maybes. I don't really know what all I'm doing in September yet. Uh, that's Killington month. Um, my friend Matt did the ultra last year and got cut at mile 26, so I know he's going back for some redemption. I may go with him, pace, uh, just to go along, cheer him on, you know, do whatever. So Matt, I'll see you there, but I'm sorry, I'm not doing the ultra with you again. Yeah, that was that was a once and done. Later that month, doing Warrior Dash. This is kind of just like the Rugged Maniac one. It's just a nice change of pace, really fun race. So we'll see how it goes. I don't really have any high hopes. I've actually never done a Warrior Dash, so we'll we'll see how it goes. Going into October, I actually don't have anything scheduled. I have a lot of maybes, Rugged Maniac in DC. I have OCR World Championships on here, but. Um, I already did the whole World Championships thing in London last year, but we really lucked out and got great weather. I don't anticipate that actually happening again this year. That and it cost a lot of money. So I'm probably not gonna go. I'm just gonna stick with Noram, call it a day there. And then coming down to November, that's gonna be my last race month. Have again maybe uh, New Jersey weekend, probably be there. Don't know if I'm gonna race it, use it as training. Either way, I'll be there. And then my last actual like race race is gonna be Savage in the fall, as well as Boston Stadium. Those two are always ones I never miss. So those are gonna be my last two like really competitive races. So that's pretty much um, my calendar for 2019 and all the races I'm gonna be doing. If you wanna follow me on OCR Buddy, go ahead and add it. You can actually follow people too, it's really great. So go ahead and do that. That way you can kind of see my schedule as it changes. Some of my maybes may turn yes. But moving on, I don't know if you noticed my shirt here, it says dedicated. I was actually picked up by Team Caterpie. So I don't know if you know what Caterpie laces are. Hold on. Caterpie laces are these great little like squish laces that are no ties. Um, I actually did a full um, video review on them uh, last year before I was on the team. Definitely check that out. I'll leave the link at the end of this video for it. But basically there's no ties. Um, they're great. They're literally in all my shoes. So really happy to be a part of the team this year. You'll see me probably working some of the tents and some of their events if I'm not racing. Definitely repping all their laces this year and gonna be doing some giveaways for you guys too. So it will pay dividends to actually watch some of my videos. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways throughout the year and working with Caterpie to go ahead and kind of organize that all. So stick around, those giveaways are coming really soon and get yourself some free pair of laces. But on the off chance that you don't wanna actually wait around or try and do any of the giveaways for laces, um, I do have a code, uh, Derek20. I'll put that in the link in the description down below. If you buy their laces through the link down below on their website, caterpielaces.com with my discount code, you'll get 20% off your order, so there's that as well. And for those of you who do see me at the events this year, I actually had some stickers made, so if you can focus, come on, there we go. So I got some cool little obstacle activist stickers made. Gonna be giving those out at races and stuff this year, so if you see me, I'll always have some on me. So if you see me in a race, stop, say hey. I'm probably not gonna remember your name, but hey, at least you'll get some free stickers out of it. So go ahead and do that. I have a bunch of these to give out. If you use them, cool, if not, you know, whatever, I tried. So the last one thing I wanna hit on before I kinda of wrap up this video is that in the past couple weeks since I've made my last video, I've actually gotten a lot of new fitness equipment um, and things that I've been testing out. I actually have a couple reviews dropping in the next one to two weeks on wear bands. Uh, those are resistance bands you kind of attach to your legs from your hips. Aerolax boots, those are just recovery compression boots, kinda of like Normatex. A couple new pairs of sneakers, some new pairs of ultras, and some new trail shoes. So. Keep an eye out for these reviews. I'm gonna be trying to do one review each week for the next like five or six weeks since I've got all these things. So keep an eye out for those. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you guys an update on where I'm at and where my season's going. And uh, we'll see you out there. Till next time guys, peace.